G'day, Barry Rass here. Our coral sea is unique. It's our Amazon, the Serengeti of the seas. And it's special because as Australians... Hi, Barry. G'day. Only we can protect it. Visit the website and ask Kev, our PM, to make our coral sea the world's largest marine park. Can you make a difference? You bet your rass. people and institutions that have formed what we're calling, and we've just named ourselves two weeks ago, the Ocean Arc Alliance. And the Ocean Arc Alliance is not a new NGO, it's not going to repeat uh, what other organisations do really well. The idea of this organisation is to bring together a group of information that is very readily and quickly accessible by the general public and easy for people like yourselves and other people speak to pass on and say, please look at this site and look at this link. It will, after the election, we'll be running uh, Australian uh, citizens' petitions and young Australians' petitions, bipartisan, just simply asking politicians to look at the petition numbers and the signing on to give them a mandate to change an issues policy. Because it is simple to change, but it's very hard economically, so we think. But I've been privy to some other you know, interesting signs that um, Charlie's well aware of from another colleague, O. Hobelberg. And the implications are not just about animals dying. You know, we're looking at catastrophic numbers of you know, refugees, human refugees, within 20 or 30 years. So, fighting. so the good news is you can put some economic modelling around that. And if you put modelling around it, economists and people in the middle to upper class can start to say, wow, we better pay attention here because our well-being, our prosperity is at stake. So there's cards in there that... Are